Hey guys, and welcome back to another video, and today we have my review of The Strangers. I just bit my tongue, and I'm in so much pain. This video will contain spoilers, so if you haven't yet seen The Strangers, and I would recommend it actually, uh, despite what I'm going to say in this review, I would recommend going to watch it, um, but if you haven't and you want to, go watch it first and then come back here. Um, but yeah, also, the blue hair is gone, I am very sad about that, honestly, uh, I really liked it, um, but uh, I can't have it for school, because uniform is the most important thing, of course, and not doing well in GCSEs, but... Um, I'll get it back, uh, like, next summer. Um, and I've already mentioned in previous videos about how uploads are going to be a lot less uh, consistent um, uh, from now on. Um, and I apologise again, but it's the best I can do. But anyway, let's get into the review. So basically, this is a very straightforward home invasion film. Very simple, and it's actually very short too. I think it was an hour, 25 minutes, including credits. Um, and I'd say it's fine. It That's probably the best way to describe it it's fine. One of the strongest parts is definitely the emotional weight. It's very somber actually. Um, the main characters are a couple but the woman, Kristen, um, just said no to James's who, or James who is the boyfriend. Uh, he just proposed to Kristen and she said no because while she loves him she's not ready for marriage and it's really sad and we're told through mostly visual stuff and little bits of dialogue it's not like a bunch of exposition it's not just like someone on the phone like yeah uh, she said no to my proposal would have had would have had much less of an important feeling if it was done like that and I'm genuinely sad that they don't make out with this film because I'm rooting for them to make it out I'm rooting for them to sort something out it also does have some genuinely creepy stuff, there's some great scenes where there's just one of the strangers in the background of the scene, uh, whether it's out of focus or not, it's just there's no music, we can just see him, Hereditary does some similar stuff and yes that does do it better but, but nonetheless it's still really creepy and there's some of the best scenes and shots in the film that make you feel really on edge, really uncomfortable, really strange. It's very, very simple stuff, but the simplest stuff in this film are the most effective, I find. The acting is also great and mostly convincing. like one or two scenes where James, uh, I think uh, Scott Speedsman is the actor's name, um, I, I didn't like his performance in the odd scene but for the majority of it I did like it as well as the woman for Kristen and I apologise I do not remember her name. As I said at the start and as you probably guess I didn't love this film all too much. I looked at the reviews after writing this so a few minutes ago and it's a lot lower than I expected. I've seen a lot of two star reviews and I think it should at least be three stars. I don't think it's awful, but I really don't like a lot of it as well. It feels very dragged on for a while towards the end. Um, despite it being under an hour and a half, it just feels slow and it can be a slow burner um, and that's fine because I don't mind slow burner films, but it just doesn't feel there's much of a payoff really and it feels like there could be a lot in this film that could be cut out and that should be cut out that isn't necessary. There's also a part in the film where James, the boyfriend, comes back after going to the shop or something like that and after them being such good characters and so well set up in the first act, um, I... Like I said, I was rooting for them the whole way through, but he comes back and becomes the stereotypical boyfriend that doesn't believe Kristen, that there are people trying to break in, and 
it's just frustrating because I like them both and then it feels like the filmmakers panicked and like oh no we don't have this kind of person let's turn him into James um, they could have had like a friend come in and be that character but just James is just very strange and really really frustrating for me I also would say that most of the film nails the realistic aspects, but there was one scene where one of the strangers uh, taps James' neck, uh, just to be creepy for some reason. Um, but yeah, she does that, and then we hear her running, but she disappears. We don't see her. Like, she disappears straight away, um, and it's it took me out of it a bit, if I'm honest. Um, like I say, the rest of the film was really realistic, and then just this one scene, just she, she can disappear. As much stuff as there is in this film that I do like, I just can't put it up to Blu-ray. Um, so, unfortunately, I put The Strangers in DVD. Now, I'd like to clarify that just because I put something in DVD or 4K doesn't mean I'm going to buy it in DVD or 4K. I own most of my f films in Blu-ray. Unless I can't get them in that, then I have to get them in DVD. But, yeah, like, I own The Amazing Spider-Man 2 on Blu-ray, you know, and that's a fat VHS film for me. Um, just... I don't know, like even bad films I like to go back see if my opinions changed or even if it's just special features. I like to have HD and I'm also a bit of a collector person so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this movie, of course this is just my opinion, everyone is welcome to see it differently. Thanks guys and I will see you in the next one, take care.